Alright, welcome back to part 3 of the Siege of Heifei Castle. We're doing pretty well. A bit better than Wuzang Plains, in fact, I would say. We, didn't get, we haven't been killed, although we have one close call with a pack of archers. One special item, and now the officers are just being cut down like pennies. A couple left, in fact. Game straight. We might even finish it in this part, who knows. We will see. I'm sure there's one, at least one more trick up Wave Sleeve. I think it's going to involve this area in front of us. This sort of suspicious looking island. Whatever it is. What are those things you see? I don't know what they call those things you see in parks. Like, uh, I don't know what they're called. I'm not going to go that way. Because, right before, I smell a trap. <laughs> I do indeed smell a trap. You know what? No, I'm changing my mind on Red Hair since he's close by. Let's use him to get the gate captains off the mark. Looks like our forces are going onto the island anyway. I don't trust that island. There's just something about it that screams ambush. I'm staying away from it. I could be completely wrong, but... Well, I don't know. If it's anything like the other trap so far, I'll skip it. Wow. Our own crossbow pack doing a number there. There's no one really guarding it, but we'll have to hope not to run into their crossbow packs. We will have to hope to run into their gate captain. Oh no, we got at least one pack of archers. Only one though. Right, I know I said I wouldn't do this, but I'll make an exception for the gate captains. If we can wipe them out, the reinforcements are thin. thin. And that's what I want to achieve. It's worth it. Holy moly! Those damn archers pinging me every turn! No! Come on! Yes, I got him! Great, my moves are a bit early here because I'm getting slammed on all sides. Right, now let's deal with the archers. Another pack of crossbowmen, of course. Who else? Oh, man, I can't believe I don't have enough defense to survive that yet. Good riddance! Bam. The devil. Well, the devil. If I fought like the devil, I won't be getting pinged by these idiots. Fight more like a muscle man. Get off me. I'm going to break my music just to prevent him from doing that. Ah! Double kill. Right, almost all dead. One wet. Where are you? Ah! No. What? How did that shot miss? Form like a sidestep or something. Bam! It always feels so confusing. Zen G is banning Zhang Liao. When did she join Wu? Oh, it's the male version. Whatever. Right. Not letting this guy nip me in the back. Thank you, God Captain guy. I'm gonna get some health off you. I'm gonna go take care of the other God Captain, I think. Let Wu push up a bit more. Put it on the way out. Right. We've only got one gate captain left, and then it's all. Oh God. Will you leave me alone, for Pete's sake? What's this? Oh, speaking of Senji, here she is. The beautiful flute player strikes again. As I said, she's very quick, so we'll have to be careful. Let's just beat her up as quickly as we can. She's very fast. Probably one of the faster characters in terms of like a speed trait. Attacks with very quick attacks. And screams like crazy when hit. And she's out of here. Haha, <laughs> hit her in the back. Goodbye, Senji. Oh dear. I wish you good fortune. Oh, how sweet. What? In her dying word, she wishes good luck for her husband. Who isn't the real character in this game, I believe. I think it's Cal P, her husband. As you do. She has a few uh, marital problems of her own, to say the least. I believe in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, her husband is somewhat incompetent. Something like that, anyway. But he does manage to take prizes away from somebody. Not that I could blame Cowpea, I'd want to pull her away too from wherever she was betrayed. 
uh, engage with, but yeah, apparently she was a bit of a snob as, as such. Oh, MG. I don't really know about the story too much. Just something but Cow P's her husband anyway, that's all it matters. So with an extra bonus of clearing Senji out the way, we got all we gotta do now is clear the other gate captain and then it should be pretty easy sailing actually. I'm really surprised this mission is a lot easier than I remember it. Probably because back then I probably didn't clear out the gate captains as efficiently as I do now, so it's probably like, oh why are the enemies keep respawning? Whereas now it's like, oh, it's because of these gate captains. If I clear them out, I won't have to deal with as many. <laughs> so again, well, I'm pretty sure on higher difficulties this will be a lot. Just that being said, it's not like I haven't slogged through a lot anyway. <laughs> I, may have, I may have stemmed the tide, but that hasn't stopped me from getting over 350 kills on the mission. The last gate captain falls. And with that, we can now begin the genocide of Wei. Like a, a tasteful turn at this point. Bam! That's right. <laughs> they just stood there ignoring me. Oh no, what's that guy stomping nearby for? Ah, too late. One more crossbow guy, I think. There he is. Not taking my bodyguards out now. I don't have survived this far. Probably has been getting a lot of healing items off me. Can't wait to have eight of them. Then we'll really go to town. I'll be able to plow. I'll be able to plow into enemy forces. Then really near with eight competent, aggressive bodyguards at my back. That's for sure. Whack. Until then, we're sort of limited to being careful. We have eight bodyguards all going crazy using Muzu attacks. You know you've made it. Then that's when you can be really aggressive. More than I am being already. So we'll be finding Zhang Weiao in a minute. I think he'll come out to defend the inner sanctum of Sima Yi. To no avail. So, at least Wei have tried to do some stuff, but... I'm surprised they haven't got one last trick of this leave at this point in the game. At least it's Baron Zuge Liang. As we'll show up, camp at Luzang Plains and then do nothing! I'll just watch as everyone get killed and catapults rain havoc on my face. At least they tried to ambush us and use arrow traps and use wind corridor traps. They may not have worked very well, but at least they tried. That's what counts. Let's hope Zuge Leung is a little more competent when we play for Shu though, but I'd hate to think that Shu will somehow worse off in strategic success than Wu have been so far. But you never know. So, yeah, I think we can completely abandon it now. Snap out of it, buddy. Gate captain here needs to be taken down. Get some help from my bodyguards. Might as well try and keep them alive a bit since they're starting to prove their worth now. That feels like a nice big heal. There we go. Full health bodyguards. Right. Now let's get in there. Let's get Simi out of the picture. Means we're almost done. I, Zhang Liao, will oppose you. You'll be the last one to oppose me as well. After this, we're done. Oh, I thought I caught him. No, oh, he got knocked away by somebody. What's he doing? Bring his guard down. That's strange. Quick, in the back. Oh no. Oh boy. Yeah, double attack for the win. And he's out. Bye, Zhang Liao. Found my place of rest. Farewell. Alright. Three parter. To think Wuzang Plains took five parts. This will take three at this rate, which is good. Right. And I think that's pretty much it. Now let's just see me on his own. Now I think I just check. Yep. No sub officers, no gates. Final destination, the Gravestone. And I've got this nice looking... Well, now we have no... Oh, uh, this too. <laughs> One lonely sergeant, I'll take you! None shall pass. <laughs> nice try, buddy, but no dice. 
down from there. Poor Sergeant, desperately defending Sima Yi as he struggles to hold to power. All his defenses fail. Do I hear more archers, or is that old guys for the change? Yeah, it's old guys. Alright, good. Nice to hear archers not think, oh, what now? <laughs> for a change. Can't, can't wait for the crossbow army to come up here. Oh, never mind, there is a crossbow pack. Again. I don't know what they're firing at, because they seem to be aiming down through the wall. But, they're aiming at the rats or something. Unless they've gone bored. What are they aiming at? They're aiming at a weird angle. Maybe they are clearing the rats. Maybe they're just the, they're just, just the, the extermination squad of the castle. They're not really fighters, they're killing rats and squirrels and other things. We're getting desperate, send out the extermination crew. Defend me against Wu. And you know what folks, I've just realised something. This is the first time in a mission, for the most part, that Wu have executed a strategy and there was no catch! Except for that one gate we lost, but I'm, that's just being nitpicky. So congratulations Wu, it only took you six missions, maybe not six, like maybe four, five missions, but congratulations. For once, when, the moment you abandoned strategy, you started winning things. <laughs> The very moment Wuzun said, Alright, enough strategy. Let's just go in there, guns blazing. And what do you know? It turned out perfectly. Didn't have to worry about no kind of falling log ambush. Didn't have to worry about no fire attack. Didn't have to worry about shoe hogging all our glory. Nope. Just pure muscle. Just like my character. We got another item in the crate. My dynasty will be built on your death. Well, see me, you're gonna have to kill a lot of people. Good luck with that. So here's see me on his own, pretty much. There's one guard. So we'll clear his guards out, because see me will probably just be as annoying as Zuge Leong in death, I imagine. Let's see about a health. Won't be easy. So let's clear his guards out one by one. Take too long. <laughs> Not used that much since have I? The fourth combo. Look at how it's on and see me eat, but I'm just gonna clear his guards out. Oh no! See me eat kill one of my bodyguards! You asshole! Get out of the way! You killed my Oh oh holy crap! I didn't know his fans could shoot laser beams. Guard here. Let's go back to the guard strategy, I think. Zuge Leon does similar to that, but I think Simi is a little bit more powerful. Maybe. Maybe someday I'll get down to playing them both. Then we'll see for ourselves. Oh, God. Just knock him down a bit. Right, nice way another guard, hopefully. And slowly but surely, make our way to the finish line. For Hung Guy's campaign. Unless there's another mission after this, you never know. We can actually do some elemental damage to these guys as well every time we do one of our charge attacks, but eh. That's what the fourth weapons are for. Oh, here we go again. Oh no, I mistimed my block counter. Damn. That was terrible timing on my part there. I was trying to use the uh, push back. Oh well. Supercharge! Get out the way. Please don't hit me. So again, let's isolate He doesn't hit that hard actually. He's powerful, but he's not stupid strong. Like, no god being a loser, thankfully. Please don't block this. And he doesn't. Bird, see me. Bird. Can't we say much now? Just slog to the end and we'll get our credits. Fine, we don't screw up. I won't want to be caught in this muzu again. It seems pretty dangerous. Let's take it very carefully. Ping with a few arrows, maybe. How about some arrows, see me? Kick his 
god. Oh shit, he was trying to charge up then. Oh no, we don't want him to, we don't want him to begin his health now. Oh crap, we completely missed that. Oh boy. This could get ugly. I'm gonna block until he uses his true Muzu, I think. I don't I don't wanna get caught out by his super. It's the only thing I'm scared of. He might just break out his super Muzu while I'm in the middle of starting my uh, attack, and that will be the end of me. Sometimes he doesn't, but you know he's got to be he's well on health, so no doubt he's gonna bust it out soon. And then out to the head. I have done all that I could. Oh, no grand death sequence for you. Just that's it. Oh well, Wu forces triumphant. Yeah, your post sucks. Need to work on that, tongue guy. Seriously. All right, so that was the siege of Heifei Castle. Let's see how it went down. Well, first of all, we spent a long time figuring out what to do, but eventually took out a gate captain on the left. Then we went over to the right side to clear some forces. Turned out to be a good idea. Then it turned out that the ambush had failed. Zimi Yi gave us credit. So we took out his forces that would have been in the ambush. And then Zhu Xu got involved. We took him out in Mortal Kombat. So eliminating him. Then we spent a while, then we went to the archers, but quickly retreated. And then Wei's reinforcements arrived and tried to flank us from the rear, but I was on hand to dispose of them relatively quickly. First Cao Ri, and then Man Chong fell without real much trouble. And then the rear guard was secure as our forces started to push on the left. We finally dealt with the archers, but it was all pointless, as the special item was on the other side. Whatever it is, we'll find out in a moment. So then we dashed over and led her straight to the forefront of the battle. There's a way of getting out to the other side, but I don't know what it is. We took out Zhang He, this time without any fuss. Zhu Huang, he's never really caused any trouble in the past, so he was quickly dealt with. We ignored the island in the middle. So I smelt another ambush there. Took out the gate captain. The love we sent Ji approached us, but was dealt with quickly. Then we couldn't just capture her, but we decided to kill her instead. Then we took her to the last gate captain. At this point, we're all over way. Zhang Liao fell. Went up to the top of the nice, impressive looking castle sort of overlook place. Went inside, and then Simi Yi was on his own. And then finally, after 47 minutes, Simi Yi finally fell. Not a single Wu officer was defeated. Hooray! Best Wu mission ever. Woo! Ooh. Now then, that's a good item, I think. Bodyguard manual. Bodyguards become stronger. Hmm, that could be useful, actually. Um, fortunately, it's probably really only going to be useful in the later missions when the bodyguards actually do anything, but nevertheless, a good item, I guess. You want stronger bodyguards? Not the best, but it's good. Decent enough. And, wow, nice attack upgrade. 17. And theory defense. About time we got an attack upgrade too, worth it now. Alright, we took out eight officers this time. Not as many to defeat. There's a bit more about traps and strategy. Let's see how that adds up to our final character development. More HP for the bodyguards. Who Unfortunately, one of them died to death time, but oh well. Class 4 for us. Warriors. It pretty much dictates the AI, makes them more aggressive, have more attack accessibility. And let's check the rankings. Second on the rankings in total points. Fourth in KOs. 8 fun time. Sure, Simi Yi would do it in 15 minutes. Whatever. Alright, so let's save and check out the end credits for Hung Guys Campaign. Hung Guy of Wu, a veteran warrior who had served under Sun Jian ever since he took up arms. An eternal soldier who always sought to be first on the battlefield. And we defeated 248 at Yelton Rebellion. 303 
at Unwell Gate, and we did defeat Wu Boo. Heck yeah! Took out 143 at Liu Biao, 463 at Chibi, which we had to salvage, 240 at Yi Wing, which we had to salvage, 218 Wei officers at Yu Ting, which we kind of had to salvage, but. And 453 in Hafe Bay Castle, where for the first time Wu did something right. You can see cutscenes in the background there. Wu Zun on a reflective mode. And there's. Meng Huo for some reason. <laughs> Four more chicken! <laughs> so we'll see that cutscene at some point. So it was that Wu, Wei, and Shu perished, and China was unified under the Wu dynasty. Oh, goody. And then a week later, someone more competent took over. And then the Wu Dynasty fell. And there's another bad picture. <laughs> I love that, it's so cheesy. Oh, yes! Ah, <laughs> uh, dearie me. Alright, so now we get this. Oh! It's on a boat this time. There we see Shun Shanjiang and. Backing group. Yeah. Shenji was slightly more attractive, but this is acceptable. There's Lu Zun taking a low end nap, I think. Sun Quan conversing with Lu Meng and myself, Hung Gai. Boy, congratulating themselves on the fact there were no casualties. Whoa, Gan Ning! Dude, you're gonna be drunk! <laughs> Just what I'd expect from a pirate captain. So once again being reflective. The moon looks nice tonight. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Wuzoon! The moment you gave up strategy was the best decision ever! <laughs> now we're posing for the ladies. <laughs> yeah, took out my biceps. Or whatever. I'm on a boat, which is pretty nice. So, these ending things do vary per character, they show you, Kaiser Chi, and some say. I don't know why they show three random characters, it might be we unlock some of them, it might just, but that wasn't the case with Zan Doon. Oh whatever. Anyway, what I was saying was, when I mentioned in the Zan Hoon Doon video that the, the credits are mostly the same, what I meant was this part of the credits is always the same. The bit with the dancers and stuff differs per character. So like, I think Wu's mostly takes place on ships. I think uh, Wei's will take place in a castle. I don't know where Shu's will take place, but we'll find out next time. And some of them can be actually pretty funny. It's like a white heart to the side. I think Zhu Shu in particular gets an amusing credit sequence. So, once again, the uh, ending song from Group Massa, I think. <laughs> oh, sorry, not Massa, Circuits. You listen to right now. I'm surprised that wasn't brought up in the automatic music detection on YouTube. They sometimes auto detect songs, but I guess Circuit aren't that popular. <laughs> Maybe on Chinese YouTube this would work. Oh well. I would skip these normally, and in the future, if I don't have anything particular to say, I will skip this sequence. But we're almost through the credits, so... And anyone who's not seen the Zahun Dune credits, this text scroll, can see it now. To be fair, it's not that long, so it's not too bad. And... I make it for us. Keep on making Dynasty games, because people keep on buying them, I guess. Alright, so... I did say I was going to show who we unlocked this time, so I will do that right now to further int aid your decision. Plus I'm curious, who did we unlock? So we got a free mode here real quick, just pull up a random mission, doesn't matter what. We don't need to see the characters anyway. Alright then, let's see who Wu have unlocked. We have unlocked Wu Zun to our course. We have unlocked Dasi and Dao Kiao. And that's it. Just Dakiao and Lu Zoom. Oh, and on the others, I think we've unlocked some new people. Ah, we got Sang Jiao. 
think I don't think he was on the list last time, but there he is now. He must have unlocked him when we beat the L Turbans with one guy. So what do I say about that? So that's the end of Hung Guy's campaign. I hope you really enjoyed this, like you did with the last one. I hope Royal Sniper 2000 is a happy chappy today. And I will catch you all next time, when we will begin... Shoo! With a particular officer. Once again, I reference you to Heteng. He will tell you who it is. Catch you next time for Heteng's character choice on the Shoe Forces.